Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jake. I'm a videographer from LA and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Sam Colder drone cloud transition. Um, if you guys haven't seen this uh, drone transition, it's very, very cool. It's basically where one drone shot um, transitions into the next drone shot but with kind of like a cloud covering over it. It's actually a very, very trendy transition that I've seen in a lot of travel videos. So today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do it. It's very, very simple. It's going to be three easy steps. Let's get straight into it, guys. All right, guys, so we're here in Final Cut. We're going to jump right into it. It's going to be very easy. Three simple steps, guys. Three simple steps, all right? I already included the uh, fog overlays in the description below. You just got to click on it. It's going to send you to a Google Drive, and you're going to download clip one, two, and three. It's going to be as easy as one, two, and three, and the drone transitions are going to look beautiful, guys, all right? So we're just going to jump straight into it. So I have three drone clips, drag them to my timeline. These are all going into the same direction, guys. So we're gonna start with our first clip, clip one, our main overlay, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to compositing, we're gonna go to blend mode, and we're gonna click on screen, all right? So all this is doing is it's already adding a thin layer of fog over our drone clips, all right? And you guys are gonna see why this works right now, okay? So I'm just gonna grab the same clip and I'm gonna click on command C make sure it's highlighted click on command C and then just paste it All right. command C and command V to paste it beautiful so all this is doing is just adding a thin layer of fog so it just makes it look like the fog was already there prior to post-production all right guys so we have our first layer so now we're gonna grab our clip 2 we're gonna drag it onto our timeline and you want to make sure it's right in the middle right in between where our two clips cut okay and then make sure it's highlighted go to blend mode and go to screen all right looks good looks good all right and then we're gonna go to our cross dissolves we're gonna drag it on top of our clip too and basically what this is doing is that it's increasing the thickness of the fog but as you can see we can still see where both clips cut so now we're gonna go, go and click on our clip 3 and we're gonna put it right in between where both of the drone shots cut okay but what we're gonna do with clip 3 is we're not we're gonna leave it on normal we're not gonna uh, screen it. We're just gonna leave it on normal and we're just gonna grab our cross dissolve and we're gonna drag it up on top of clip three. Just gonna fix it a little bit. All right, so clip two and clip three are the only ones that are gonna have to cross dissolve and clip one is just gonna be our main overlay. So as you can see, the cross dissolves are increasing the thickness of the fog and then it's transitioning into our next clip but it looks very seamless all right very beautiful guys all right so we're just gonna show you the whole clip real quick see how it looks oh my goodness wow sam colder over here okay so look we have our third clip and it's gonna be very easy guys so we don't have to redo the whole thing all we got to do is come up here highlight it click command c on your keyboard all right, and then Command V, and it's gonna paste it right on top. So you don't have to, all you gotta do is do it once, highlight it, and boom. Just copy and paste it. Oh my goodness. So look, look how easy that was, guys. It's literally easy as one, two, three. So click the link in the description, download the clips, and then just drag them one, two, three, throw your cross dissolves on top, make sure you only screen clip one and clip two and you guys are all set you guys are good to go all right guys so that was the tutorial if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe and i'm going to be coming out with more stuff just let me know in the comments if you guys want to see anything specific and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial